Hello everyone. Uh, uh, we are here to do review Decalogue 7. Uh, it's a story about the commandment that it deals with is Thou shall not steal. So uh, the story does not much to the story. Basically, it's uh, there is a woman who's, who has an overbearing mother and uh, this uh, our protagonist, she gave, she got pregnant at a very early age, when she was 16, okay, so with her, with her professor, so her mother, thinking that uh, it would be a big deal um, uh, for the professor to be known uh, as, you know, uh, actually getting involved with a minor, she uh, makes it look like the kid is her own, okay, so now she has, she has, uh, she has taken care of this kid for a very long time and of course she is very attached to it. Uh, the daughter, she has gotten older now and now she wants, uh, she doesn't have uh, the love in uh, her life so she wants the kid too. Yeah. So and she was never loved as much as the mother loved her baby. Yes. So it's kind of uh, a dilemma where the baby should go. Should it belong to the grandmother or the real to mother. the real mother? Uh, this is actually a story of uh, conflicting motherhood. Uh, what happens is, uh, there we, we are shown a young mother, she has become a mother at 16. So to just uh, conform to social norms that uh, she, she has become a mom at a very young age. Uh, and of course it's illegal. Yeah. So the grandmother of the baby adopts the baby as her own and uh, le legitimizes the whole thing that she is the mother of the baby so the kid grows into a 6 year old and uh, and she of course doesn't understand who the real mother is yes so whoever she has been more closer to that's her grandma she calls her mother okay yeah uh, the the real mother of the kid is, has not been shown any love and uh, she has always been uh, demanded to do certain things and and uh, she was not able to deliver perhaps or maybe she didn't want to live up to that extent maybe she, she didn't want to be bossed around or, and she had her own thing to do so she fell in love with her professor and uh, they had a, a baby so now this baby has grown under the wings of her grandmother calling her mother and uh, she's at an age where she can easily get confused we can call yeah, it yeah. <laughs> So, and we are shown scenes that scenes of this young mother not able to console the kid when she cries. So, maybe because she has <laughs> never done it since she was born. Okay, maybe motherhood she... comes, yeah, months, you know, comes with age, yes. months and years you spend with your baby, the connection you have with them, and once if you, if you lose the connection. When they were very young, you cannot just connect to them, okay? Absolutely. Maybe she was not made to look after the kid. Maybe she, her, her mom always, her mom never forgave her for the mistake uh, she did. And she was uh, sent to study first yes. of all. So she and we are shown that. another small piece, uh, shared a small piece of information that the mom will remain, the grandmother will be childless after her first uh, kid. Mm -hmm. So after having the first kid, which is the real mother, uh, she she was definitely unsatisfied. She maybe wanted more kids. So when she grabbed the opportunity, when her own daughter had a kid, and uh, she judged her own daughter to be immature to uh, raise the child, so she adopted it as her own. And uh, now this young child calls the grandmother as mom, and while the real mom keeps watching. And real mother, of course, she feels really bad about it because yes. she wants to. She wants the, this part in her life, okay, and she cannot let her mom snatch it away from her as she did most of the things. Uh, this is uh, actually, it's a Kislovsky uh, conundrum. It's always someone, someone gets something at the other one's expense. So are we justified to have it? Are we, can we, is it uh, worth having it or are we going against uh, that commandment? So uh, the the real mother takes away the kid, kidnaps her kind of, and uh, 
the kid has a problem of uh, you know having nightmares yeah. uh, every night and she she cries out like really loudly and this is the this is the very episode that we ne- we don't see god appearing yes so that is uh, very weird for uh, decalog yes because god always arrives and so the girl is taken away and uh, the grandmom is like pretty sick about it she is just going around trying to find her so our real mom uh, is trying to convince the father that she can take care of her baby and they'll move uh, to canada or some place else yeah so basically she has uh, she's she's she st- stealed her uh, yeah, from kidnapped yeah kidnapped so but who knows that who has actually stolen is it the yes. grandma that took away the kid from the real mother or other way around yes so the dilemma you see uh yeah what well, yeah. yeah okay so is it is it correct for the young mom to have stolen not stolen it is rightfully hers to have uh, snatched the kid away from the foster mom and take it away for her own or should, because the foster mom had meted out such treatment to her yeah maybe they could have made out an arrangement that would be you know both could be happy but e- either of them wanted her the baby to themselves yes. that was the problem and uh, so in an unsuccessful uh, you know a, a event of uh, her kidnapping the baby yes lastly uh, the grandmom reaches her and uh, the real mom just walks away i mean she takes a train and walks away because she doesn't want to do it anymore uh, the in the last scene we are shown the kid running towards the real mom i mean the real mom is already boarded the train and the train is going at a fast pace and the kid run tries to catch up uh, to it but she was not able to so whether the kid has realized that uh, that is the, uh, the real mom she is a real mom and uh, not the foster mom uh, so th- i mean it it's mainly to do with three characters and uh, what w- what is right what what is right uh, the grandmother did such a thing because to conform to social norms that ma- the young daughter should be prevented from such uh, social stigma that she has become a mom at a very young age or did she just fulfill the the childless uh, the, the the desire that she wanted to have another child hmm. i think it's more of that uh-huh. because she didn't actually care for her own daughter okay because yes. when her husband says that you're going to lose both of them she didn't care okay she, all she wanted was the grandkid to be with her uh the grandmother was ready to sacrifice her own child for another child for another uh, of her own blood yes definitely but it was uh, biased we can call it yeah <coughs> i mean uh, she just uh, showered more more love on on the second child rather than the first uh i mean this dilemma has been shown in so many movies the light between the oceans where you never you don't understand if the biological mother is the one you should be going for or is it you know the one who fostered you so i think uh, because of the commandment it's not a very great episode i'll say mm, for decalog but uh, he has put it very properly yes. making i mean thou shall not kill he could have taken you know any other instance for this but but he made it as difficult for us to to really <coughs> come to a conclusion yeah exactly and he could have shown just two mothers you know one biological but in this case they both belong to the same family yes so that is so that complicated uh, a bit yeah so we have to appreciate uh, just lovsky for uh, yes him doing this uh, i think uh, do you want to talk any more about this uh who is right i mean who is who is uh, i mean see uh, the point is that ultimately the kid is affected at a very young age she has been traumatized mm. now is it right to have done the thing that done uh, right to have uh, adopted the child and neglect your own 
flesh whereas uh, or was it, it 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 could it could be either way uh, because the other, other effect of this is that the other mom i mean the real mom who has not seen love from her mother is also deprived and now also she doesn't have yes. love in her life okay so i think she want she needed if this would have gone to the law what would you think would be the case i think by the biological mom would have won it because yeah but then she cannot really take care of her that's that yes. i mean she would learn eventually but i think it should always go to the you know in kids favor okay the, i, I mean, think the wellness of kid is important than yes. what these two want so what, what would the now now the kid apparently knows that uh, that that was her real mom so suppose the kid was asked that uh, not kid not kid you no, i'm just i'm just yeah, okay. uh, just put, putting this i mean uh, putting this out uh if the kid was asked by the law mm. uh, whom would you want to go with mm. what would the, how would the kid have responded i think uh, she would have gone for the grandma of course yeah uh and according to if you see how the the kid would be treated better with the grandma okay nahi nahi uh, regardless of how the kid is going to be treated now yeah she would because, have, i think she would have chosen the grandma yes because uh, but there comes a, a time when the grandma would die okay that would be soon so it's really it's, complicated i'm sorry it's motherly bonding so we we really don't know that's why we are not I mean, able to really conclude that uh, like many of the other episode we could find that people are uh, going down to the desires people given to stealing people murder but those are acts of uh, we can say like it 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 uh, these are things that can happen uh and can be justified under a system so if this actual thing if it goes to a court then we we, we don't even know what can happen yeah so whether the selfishness of people if they actually yes. worked it out i mean the grandmom just thought about it that i should be taking care of my daughter they could all be really happy but people are selfish they want things for themselves Yeah, if it goes to a jury, they would say perhaps the mom. I mean, if it uh, like a proper jury, perhaps the grandmom would be uh, would lose. Uh, lose yeah, would become guilty yeah. of uh, neglecting the first child. I don't uh, think there is any law for that neglecting your own child because uh, it, it couldn't be justified. Uh, first yeah. of all, yeah, you can say. Uh, I mean, if the kid, if it is a minor or maybe infant mm, yeah. and toddlers, yes, Now, but not yes. Not anymore. So, so the the damage has been done. Okay so I think that's it for yes. Decalogue 7 thank you so much thank you